Hey everyone, going to do a quick video about Astral Chain today. Uh, it's a Nintendo Switch game that came out, uh, oh geez, I don't even remember. A couple of years ago now, I believe. Uh, it's always been on my radar, but I just never honestly decided to play it on the Switch because it just, ugh, it <laughs> didn't honestly interest me. Um, but so going into Ryu Jinx here, I'm just going to go over like kind of a quick configuration. So the first time launching it, you're going to want to configure your controller. So this is going to be set to keyboard, you're going to change it down to the controller, and then you're just going to map them out. So you're going to tap on the button, and then you're going to click whatever button you want to map it to. Pretty super simple. Um, and then you can change the controller type from like Joy-Con or Pro Controller, whatever. Um, but yeah, so we'll save that. And then going into system, again, there's not uh, really too much. Um, it's all like your time zone settings, V-Sync, um, but nothing to whatever. <laughs> um, and then same thing for graphics, really. Um, so you're going to have graphics backend multi-threading on and off. Uh, just leave that on auto. Uh, graphics backend, you're going to keep that on Vulkan. Uh, there is OpenGL as well, but typically you'll get worse performance. Um, and then there's texture recompression, shader, ca uh, shader caching, and macro HLE, which I honestly don't know what that is. So let's see. High level emulation of macro code, improved performance, but may cause graphical glitches in some games. Okay, well. And then texture recompression reduces VRAM usage at the cost of texture quality. May increase stuttering, so we'll leave that off. Let's see. Yeah, may also increase stuttering. So yeah, and these are the settings that I've been running anyway. Um, so I did change over to FXAA for post-processing. I didn't want to change over to SMAA because that's super, uh, or super sampling. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it, uh, for Ryu Jinx. Then moving over to Yuzu, we can see that I do have the 60 FPS mod, uh, the cutscene fix, and the 1.0.1 update. I was also applied on the Ryu Jinx as well. Uh, but going over to system, sorry system uh, you can see that I didn't change anything in there uh, general there's really nothing in there either uh, so going over to CPU I did set it to unsafe and then going over to graphics we are using uh, I changed it over from high to normal graphics accuracy uh, and that's because at least in my use case in choose the kingdom having it set to high on the ROG ally was very very detrimental to performance um, so anything in here, all I have is set to bilinear and then anti-aliasing FXAA. And then advanced graphics, I have en enable async presentation, uh, use decode ASTC textures off, and then enable reactive flushing turned on, async shader building turned on, fast GPU hack off, and then shader Vul uh, Vulcan pipeline cache. My apologies. Um, so yeah, getting into the performance, we'll go over to some more comparison videos. So for this one, it does seem that Ryu Jinx does run Astral Chain quite a bit better. Um, going from Yuzu over to, uh, to Ryu Jinx, and I was using the latest early access build of Yuzu, and the latest build of Ryu Jinx, which one had just come out like just as I was kind of filming this. So we can see that on uh, Yuzu, there is more moments of stutter and lower drops in FPS and just an overall lower FPS, I would say. And then moving over to Ryu Jinx, it still has its moments of stutter with the shader cache and everything, but the frame rate is a little bit higher overall and it's getting higher than 30 fps in the 60 fps mod once we get over to that um, i didn't bother doing any kind of formal benchmarking there was only really one scene where i could maybe kind of do a benchmark on it and that's at the very end of this video it's the car dodging scene and i think i lined it up pretty well in the video and you can see that yeah ryu jinx is performing quite a bit better still um and so for this one honestly I would recommend getting the latest uh, 1.0.1 mod, and then I would also get the 60 FPS mod and the cutscene fix mod, and I'll leave those in the comments as well. Um, and then, yeah, just run that one and then run it on Ryu Jinx. And honestly, Ryu Jinx is because there's not really too much that you can kind of tweak to it unless you enable developer options and do all that stuff. Um, it's kind of like a plug and play solution for it. And you'll probably get okay 
okay performance. Uh, these tests were done at 15 watt, obviously, but the, the last tests were done at 17 watt in the final boss fight there. And that was kind of bringing us more and more above 30 FPS, at least over on Ryujinx. So if you obviously, if you increase the wattage, which is very nice about the ally as compared to the Steam Deck, um, you can kick it up to 18, 19 watts and probably get a pretty okay experience. And mind you, I was just doing the first kind of boss and mob fight scene there. So it's not really indicative of later gameplay, I would say. However, um, I would recommend trying out Ryujinx and then just let me know in the comments on this one, like how you guys have been playing so far. Um, let me know how far you're into the game, if it gets any heavier in the performance department i assume it will as most games typically do once you start learning more abilities and i'm sure there's probably a lot of crazy things you can do with this legion uh, attachment buddy thing uh but anyway so yeah long story short just run ryujinx on this one and you should have a pretty good time um you can run motion assistant and tweak your settings accordingly um or tweak your gpu locks and you can lock your gpu um i don't know it pr it would probably help with performance slightly by a couple of fps um but i'll do a more in-depth video on that on a separate emulation video and we'll kind of do like tears of the kingdom we'll do astral chain pokemon and see what gpu locking will do for us in those situations so look forward to that in the future um, i just wanted to get this one out because somebody was just asking like hey have you done it yet and i i had been meaning to play it so just real quick like yeah basically just use Ryujinx on this one i tweaked all the settings on yuzu as best as i could and yeah that, that's as best as i could get to, for the results there so yeah, crank up the wattage as high as you want, and you should be able to get more FPS, obviously. Um, but yeah, uh, that'll do it for this one. Hope everyone has a great day. Uh, oh, and sorry, my apologies, real quickly. Um, quick shout out for my giveaway. Um, it's happening tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Um, so all you have to do is go to my Friday uh, video, which was about Fortnite and the Asus ROG Ally being future-proof. Just drop a comment on there and you're in. Uh, replies aren't counted and duplicate comments aren't counted either you just get one um, and yeah so i'm giving away two full price base value games and yeah draw will be at uh, 5 p.m eastern standard time on uh, monday thanks have a great day guys